Okay, so today we are troubleshooting a schedule, a revision schedule on a title block where we want to see the most recent revisions. In this case we see we've got seven revisions, we've run out of room, and we want revision one to kind of go away while we cycle through revisions two through seven, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to edit the title block family and the family here. In the title block family there's a there's a revision schedule. A lot of firms will go ahead and do this. They'll kind of hide the revision schedule just because the, the formatting is a little easier for them or it looks a little nicer to do it this way where they got some uh, static text but um, nevertheless they've got a revision schedule and they want to have that uh, six revisions instead of seven. So what I'll do here is I am going to uh, edit this revision schedule. So let's go to the project browser here. It's always fun trying to track down the, the revision schedule. It's kind of hidden in there. And in the properties for the revision schedule, all I really need to do here is go into the appearance part of it and change the height from variable to user defined. And I'll click OK. And once I've got that done, I'll go back to the sheet view. And again, always fun trying to get back to the sheet view here. You can see now that the revision schedule is visible. I can drag this to add more or less, but having it user defined, basically I'm telling Revit only include the amount of lines that I specify one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now that I've got that done, um, and again, if you want to hide the line work here for the revision schedule, just make sure that that is off in the revision schedule properties. So again, go to the properties here, change from title blocks to revision schedule, go to appearance and make sure that maybe grid lines is turned off. If you've got some grid lines that you've drawn in there. Okay, so I'll click OK. We'll load this into the project and replace it here. We'll overwrite the existing version, parameter values, and notice that it goes ahead and cleans that up two through seven instead of one through seven with some <laughs> guys kind of dangling off the edge. Alright, so hopefully that clears things up.